Now to our investigation into the scandal involving used cars from Japan with odometers wound back thousands of kilometres. The vehicles have been sold in Australia to unsuspecting buyers. He deceived me, he betrayed me. Are you winding back the speedos? No, absolutely not. What are you going to do? You sold me a dodgy car. I was angry. I was furious. I was like, hell no. You ain't going to get away with that. I'm gutted. I just, just the amount of money, I just, I just can't sort of fathom more ideal she could do that. Don't you play games. I'll take you outside. I really would like a refund because it's not what I paid for. It was 54,909. So it had been wound back more than 100,000 k's. Correct, yeah. You thought I can't find out. You thought I'm dumb. Tonight, we meet the innocent victims of a speedo windback scam and the salesman who insists he didn't know anything about it. I can assure you that no, we are not tampering with odometers whatsoever. We'll show you how you can avoid being caught in the tampering trap. You've got to take into account that there is tampering in the industry. It is rife. From the moment Andrew saw this hotted up second-hand imported Japanese car, he just had to have it. When I found this one in the showroom, I go, oh, OK, that, that, looks, that looks pretty weird. I've never seen a black one. He goes, that's what's in the showroom. Andrew was at Sports Auto Group. The salesman, Nick Agar. He said to me, look, take it away. If you're not happy, I'll give you back your money and I'll fix whatever you need fixing. So Andrew traded in his old car for $18,000 and paid an extra eight grand cash. Without realising it, he'd just bought himself a whole lot of trouble. It's the gearbox, it's the diff, the engine, the clutch, it's... I mean, the tyres he told me that were brand new, we got them checked by MRT. They're more than six years old, these tyres. Andrew took the car back to Nick, who arranged for repairs to be done. But, suspicious about the car's history, Andrew went online to Japanese Odometer Check, a service that claims to be able to provide the original registration papers of a second-hand imported car for a fee. According to the papers provided by the service, the odometer reading on Andrew's car was 189,400 kilometres in 2011 when it was deregistered in Japan. Somewhere between Japan and when it finally arrived at the Sports Auto Group showroom, someone had wound the speedo back to just 65,080. That's a whopping 120,000 kilometre difference. I was angry. I was furious. When, when I got that, and I was like, hell no, you, you ain't going to get away with that. Do you accept that, that you have sold cars with wound back speedos? OK, are we talking about our company that we're running here, or are we talking about previous companies and previous owners? Because there's two completely separate issues. Nick Agar says it's not his fault, because when Andrew bought the car, he was just a salesperson. And that's true. At the time, Sports Auto Group was owned by a company called All Imports Australia, which has since gone into administration. Sports Auto Group is now owned by a different company called DBN Holdings, and Nick is now not only one of their salespeople, he's also one of the new company's directors. I checked online, it came back with an astonishing 165,000 kilometres when it was sold in Japan. As it turns out, Andrew isn't the only one. Tim Porter also bought a car from Nick Agar, when Sports Auto Group was run by its previous owners. He too went on Japanese odometer check, which says the car has been wound back 110,000 kilometres. I felt betrayed because I bought something that I expected to be of a good quality and, and like the real kilometres, and now I've come back with a car that's worth, I guess, and it's nearly, it's worthless now. I can't actually sell it because it's been wound back. So I've lost, yeah, $14,000 pretty much. You've got to pull something out of your hat. You've got to do something. Because I'm not going like? to leave you alone. What would you like? I want compensation. Motoring expert Sam Stevens has this advice. Get the car looked over by a qualified mechanic. Make sure you have the correct papers. Do the overseas uh, odometer check. Make sure everything is done before you hand over your hard-earned money. He's treated me like an idiot. That's one thing I can't handle. Don't treat me like an idiot. I'm not stupid. Well, Nick Agar says he's now trying to help both Andrew and Tim get a satisfactory resolution.